Hi everyone, it's me again, it's me Lily, back with another tarot reading today, okay? So I'm going to be doing Cancer's reading right now, Zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Cancer. This mess There might be some messages here for you. I'm going to try to do a new love reading. I'm focusing on new love, okay? For some of you, new love will come in once you start doing the healing work from, the, from your past and, you know, actually taking an introspective look at yourself and seeing what you need to do and what you need to fix in order to attract and manifest this new love, okay? So this is not going to be for everybody, okay? Like I say in all my videos, um, take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't, throw it away, okay? Um, sometimes these videos with the messages, they don't come right away. It might not be happening today. It could be happening, something that happened in the past. It could be something that's happening in the near future, Okay, so take whatever applies, like I said, and throw it away. If it's not your message, it might be for somebody else because I've seen so many times where I've done videos and people say, oh, you know, I don't relate. But then there was another person that will come and say, yeah, that's my story. Thank you so much. You provided so much clarity. So please, guys, stop being so selfish. Stop thinking it's all about you. And I'm not saying you guys, Cancer, whoever's watching this video, just think with every reading that you guys watch on YouTube, it's not all about you. It's a general collective reading, okay, guys? So please, don't take offense, okay? Nobody's saying anything personal. We don't know you guys, so don't take it personally. And I know some of you cancers could be a little bit emotional. So please, don't take anything I say too personally, like I'm coming at you. Just take whatever resonates, and that's it, okay? So let's do new love first. And then if anybody's curious about their current love situation, then we'll do that, okay? But a lot of people are interested in new love. So I got some new tarot decks yesterday, okay? Oracle cards. I pre-shuffled off camera for cancer. So what is coming their way in the near future spirit for cancers in love, for new love, new romantic love for cancers? What is coming their way in love in the near future for new romantic love for cancers? Any major placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cancer. What is coming their way in new romantic love that they should know? New romantic love in the near future for cancers. What is coming their way? On last shuffle, what is coming their way? New romantic love for cancers. Okay. So we have love at the bottom of the deck, okay? It says, unconditional love, self-worth, and wholeness, affection, attraction, selflessness, okay? So this person that you might be meeting could be somebody who could be have some longevity. You might have some longevity with this person for those who have done their healing journey, right? You might have some longevity with this new connection. Um, they're going to provide you with unconditional love, not the conditional love where, okay, if you do this my way and if you do things according to the way I like it, then I'll love you. If you stop doing those things, I'm not going to love you anymore. Not that kind of love. Somebody who's going to love you with your flaws and all, okay? Um, self-love is encouraging you to practice self-love, like I said, for everybody. Always practice self-love. Wholeness, affection, and attraction, selflessness. So this person is going to be a giving person. Okay, so that was the first message. All right, what's coming their way in new romantic love for cancers? New romantic love for cancers in the near future. What's coming their way that they should know for cancers? New romantic love. Ooh, new romantic love for the near future. Okay, so I pulled those. All right, so we have love first. That was our first card, unconditional love. Then we have passion, insane chemistry, sparks, and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. So this is going to be your counterpart. They're going to be, there's going to be equal give and take in this, okay? There's going to be insane chemistry. You guys are going to vibe well. You're going to feel like you met your better half. This person is going to give you um, intense desire, you know, intense Mm, 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 if you know what I mean. <laughs> the lovemaking is going to be on point, okay? The passion between you two is going to be magnificent, okay? It's going to be like no other that you've had in your past. And I'm not I'm not trying to tell a story tell, but, you know, some of you are going to be meeting somebody very fantastic. Some, okay? Twin flames, yin and yang, and balance, union and duality, complement polar opposites. So yeah, if you guys believe in twin, twin flames, sometimes there's people who come into our lives who are meant to teach us a lesson. I agree with that strongly. And these twin flames, people take them so seriously. They think that they're supposed to be with them forever. Oh my God, that's my twin flame. No, 
twin flames are meant to last for a certain period of time for you to learn a lesson or for them to learn a lesson or for you both to learn a lesson and then you guys are supposed to depart ways sometimes twin flames become toxic and sometimes it's hard to walk away um so it's important to know whenever there's whenever there's red flags that start popping up that you disconnect okay because that like this says with the passion the passion is very strong between you two it's like an insane chemistry that you never felt before with a twin flame okay um i wouldn't like to title it twin flame but i've experienced it before in my past situation um so i know how the di i know how that dynamic works and i know that it's not meant to last, last forever so don't get too excited okay for some of you that with a twin flame talk and then the next card is coffin new beginnings liberation reborn and transition tragic endings okay so this is speaking of the death card in tarot death in tarot the death card in tarot is a scorpio card and it's meaning rebirth okay so the coffin means to like bury the past and then start anew basically so you're entering a new chapter in your life where there's going to be new be new beginnings transitions liberation rebirth things of that nature okay that's what this coffin means and then we have the snake. Mm. Competition and enemy. The other woman, look over your shoulder. Okay, so this is a red flag, <laughs> like I said, for twin flame. If, it's, if this is a strong connection that you're going to be meeting moving forward, be careful of a snake, okay? Somebody who might be in disguise, who might be putting on a false mask to you, okay? Be careful to read between the lines and see certain red flags, you got to still be able to see the red flags. There's going to be competition and an and, and, and enemy, possibly. Um, another person. It doesn't have to be another woman. It could be another person that might be, that you might have to look out for, okay? It's just warning you that this person might have some snake-like qualities. So just please be cautious of that and love moving forward, okay? And, you know, these are real-life messages, Okay. We're not going to be meeting Prince Charming or Princess Charming or Cinderella, okay? We're going to be meeting real life people here. So just be careful with this new love situation that even if the passion is very intense between you two and the love might feel very strong, if there is something that's a red flag and it keeps popping up in the early stages of your relationship, please take caution because this could turn into another bad situation for some of you cancers, okay? Okay. And then this snake card could also mean somebody from your past that might still want to try to reconcile with you. Um, they're going to be wearing this false mask, trying to portray like they change. Oh, yeah, I've been to therapy or I've been doing my self-work and look at me. I'm different now. You can see, look around, you, you know, like everything's different about me. Don't believe it. Don't trust it. For some of you guys, don't trust it. Okay, so new love. New love for cancer now. New love energies for cancer. New love energies for cancer. Tell me what is coming in the near future for new romantic love for cancers. What is coming in the near future for new romantic love for cancer spirit? What is coming in love for new romantic love for cancers? New romantic love only. Okay. So please, guys, take these messages if it applies. If it doesn't, throw it away, like I said. It might be for someone else. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody's going to be hardworking. This person's going to be a hardworking person. They're going to probably focus a lot on making sure that their stability is okay. Because I feel like for some of you Cancers, this person that you are about to meet, they came from a childhood where they had a lack, where they didn't have a lot of money, maybe a lack of resources. Maybe they came from the projects, the hood, or whatever, you know? They came from humble beginnings. So this person is going to be very hardworking, okay? They're very diligent. They're very hardworking. So maybe sometimes, you know, their work might get in the way of having intimate time with you, like personal time, quality time. So that might be an issue sometimes, okay? This person is with the Seven of Wands energy, going to fight for the connection. They're a fighter. They're, this is a born um, hustler, okay? This person's been through some things, so they know what to do. They know how to fight for what they want, they're going to do whatever they can to make sure that they keep their stability in their in, in the situation. If they feel like there's a strong passion and a love for you, they're going to fight for you with the Seven of Wands energy. And they're going to be hardworking people as well. 
Okay, you might be meeting an earth sign or a fire sign, possibly. So let's see, new love. Speak to me about the new love, new love, um, new romantic love, a new love energy for cancers in the near future. What is coming their way in the near future for cancers with new love, new romantic love for cancers? Tell me more about new romantic love for cancers. Okay, we have the six of swords. So somebody might be traveling. This might be a long distance person, somebody who's going to be moving from calmer waters. Maybe somebody recently got out of a relationship, right? Um, and they're now going on to their next journey in life. So this might be somebody who might have to travel to you. There might be a little bit of like time difference between you two or you guys be might be a long distance situation uh, in the beginning. Okay, and then we have this Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to make a stable offer towards you. This person's back is turned. So we'll see if this Ace of Pentacles comes back up, okay? So let's see. What is coming in the near future and new romantic love for Cancers? New romantic love for Cancers. What is coming their way in the near future? New romantic love for Cancers. Okay, Chariot in reverse. Okay, so this is speaking of someone who's returning is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody's returning to give you some kind of offer. So like I said, with the snake somebody's somebody's coming back with this offer trying to act like they're all changed and sweet with the snake energy and i'll pull some cards for the oracles as well they're going to be coming back somebody's returning with the chariot in reverse and we have the six of swords right next to it so somebody's making a return back somebody's coming back for some of you guys and they're going to come with the stable offer saying like hey i changed things are better now look i'm stable i got my job my life together i'm working i'm doing this i got a new place i got x y and z and you might be like oh my gosh i'm so i'm so proud of you and you really might think that this person changed but in reality beware okay this might have been an ex twin flame okay because we have multiple twin flames we have different soulmates in our lifetime as well so just be mindful of that okay Twin flames are not just one person or soulmate one person. You have multiple soulmates and twin flames for some people if they don't learn their lesson. So that's why it's important to do the self-work. Okay, so new love for um, cancer. New love in the near future. New love for cancers in the near future. What's coming their way? Okay. Eight of cups. Okay. Tell me more about new love for cancers in the near future. Two of Pentacles, and then we have the eight, five, six, seven. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so somebody's gonna be thinking if they should decide to return. There, once for some of you Cancers, there's gonna be somebody from your past that's gonna be returning. Okay, and you're gonna have to make a decision to either walk away with this Eight of Cups, and some of you are gonna be questioning whether or not you would want to you know, have this long-term future with this person. You're going to be in two minds about it with this two of wands. You're going to be indecisive about this decision if you should try to um, reconcile with them, with the seven of cups. You're going to be in your mind. You're going to be thinking about a decision very heavily. With this two of uh, pentacles to the seven of cups, you're going to be thinking about this situation very heavily if you should go forward with making this offer. Because maybe somebody made a mistake in the past for you, Cancers, and they walked away from you. And you're deciding now whether or not you want to offer them this stability or keep this stability to yourself at this time. Okay, so I feel strongly there might be somebody returning for some of you guys. So let's see. What is this Six of Swords about for the near future in love for Cancers? Six of Swords. Queen of Swords. Yeah, tell me more. Somebody is very clear that they want to move forward, okay? Somebody is very clear that they want to move forward from this past situation with the Six of Cups. Somebody you share childhood memory, well, not necessarily childhood memories with, but somebody you have a lot of strong memories with. Even with Twin Flame Dynamics, you have a strong connection to them. Even if you haven't known them for years and years, you just have this very strong, intense, passionate connection with them. So the Six of Cups energy is talking about reminiscing, um, missing somebody, and things of that nature. So it's, this is a past energy, the Six of Cups, typically, okay? So this Queen of Swords to the Six of Cups is basically saying that they may, they have a clear mind now about the past. They have a clear mind. They want to move forward. They want to move away from the toxic energy from the past. They want to move on to more calmer waters. 
towards peace. Why is this chariot in reverse in love for love and in their future for cancers? Why is this chariot in reverse? Ooh, okay. Somebody is, okay, before I say anything. Yeah, somebody's still feeling defeated by you with this King of Pentacles energy. Somebody's feeling defeated. Um, either they feel like financially insecure because we have the Five of Pentacles as well. But they're, they're feeling defeated by an ending, okay? They want to have growth and stability with this King of Pentacles energy with you. Because they felt abandoned in this situation. They felt like you left them out in the colds, okay? For some of you cancers, they feel like you left them out in the cold. But they want this growth and stability with you. So, let's see. You see they want this Ace of, Pen Ace of Pentacles. They're handing you this Ace of Pentacles. This new beginning, this new start um, state of stability. Because we have a lot of Pentacles energy. You might be dealing with the Earth sign, Air sign, um, Water sign, another Water sign too. Um, tell me more about this Eight of Cups for the near future in love. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups for the near future in love spirit. For Cancer. What is this Eight of Cups for the near future in love? Yeah, somebody's watching you walk away. This Page of Swords is watching that you left, that you departed. And they're still curious about you with this Page of Swords energy. You see how this person, the Page of Swords, is staring at you walking away. Whoever walked away in this situation, this person's playing close, they're, play, they're paying close attention that you walked away. Because they want to work together with the Three of Pentacles. They want to work together. They want to start from, you know, being friendly. They don't want to just jump right into a love connection, but they want to work together. They want to get in your good graces. They want to devise a plan on how they, to make things work between you two. Even as a friendship, okay? Because we have the Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. So somebody is trying to figure out with the Seven of Pentacles as well on how to make things right. Because they're looking back at the past. They're reflecting on the past with the Seven of Pentacles. Now they're trying to put that reflection into action with this Eight of Pentacles to work towards this Three of Pentacles with you, okay? So now you're going to be in two minds about this decision with this offer. So what is this Two of Pentacles for Cancers in the near future in love with this new situation? What is this Two of Pentacles? Okay. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which speaks of good favor. But whenever the Wheel of Fortune's in reverse, it's usually like unfinished, unfinished business. Which is what you typically see in Twin Flame Connections. Um, Knight of Cups, okay? So somebody is probably still wanting to return to make an offer of love with this Knight of Cups energy. The Knights are typically fleeting energy, so they don't stick around for too long, okay? So it's cautioning you to use your higher intuition about the situation and to see whether or not this is something that you should work on. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune with the eight, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups in reverse for Cancer in the near future? Yeah, somebody is looking for a new beginning with this Ace of Wands. Tell me more about this new beginning. What is this new beginning for Cancer? Oh gosh, these cards slippy, slippery. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm old. <laughs> Fly. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords, okay? Somebody wants a new beginning. Um, they're trying to avoid this new beginning with working together. Somebody in this situation does not want to work together with someone from their past. But the past looks like it's returning nonetheless, okay? Whether you choose to entertain this person is your choice. But this person wants to return. There might have been some deception. But with the Seven of Swords to the Ace of Wands, somebody's avoiding this new beginning. Of working together is what I'm getting. So tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Somebody might want to still explore their options. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups for Cancers and the near future in love. What is the Seven of Cups for the near future in love for Cancers? What is the Seven of Cups for the near future in love? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is thinking about this old person, I feel, is thinking about growth and stability with you with this Ten of Pentacles. Right? This is strong earth energy. So you might be dealing with an earth sign, or maybe you were dealing with an earth sign, but they see they saw growth and stability with you. They saw a life, a family, kids, the whole the dog and everything like that. <laughs> they saw a great future with you. So somebody has you heavily on their mind. They still want to work together. They want to collaborate. They want to offer you this new beginning after there has been some conflict with the five of wands energy. 
okay? They want to outreach. They want to resolve this conflict, make amends, work together as a team, okay? So take that message. You know, it looks like there's a past, strong past energy for some cancers that is returning. Um, so that's up to you. If there was a lot of red flags, if this person was a snake, like the tarot said, be cautious, please, guys. Be very cautious. And it's deception. If there was some deception with the Seven of Swords, be careful. Be very careful. But it looks like somebody wants to head. They want to make a U-turn. <laughs> they want to come right back. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's pull some messages. Okay. Um, Spirit, speak to me about cancers. What is it that they need to know in regards to love at this time? Cancer, the zodiac sign of cancer. What is it that they need to know in regards to love at this time? Cancer, what is it that they need to know about love at this time for cancers? Cancers, what is it that they need to know about love at this time? Cancers, what is it that they need to know? Okay. Okay, time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Okay, so somebody feels like it might be too late to come back, but it looks like somebody's still going to try to return. Whether you entertain them is it up to your, that's your business. I don't know what your situation was. So if you want to entertain them, that's up to you. But somebody looks like they're strongly making their way back very soon. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Okay, new chapter. I'm trying to move on. So this might be you, Cancer. Or the energy that you might be tied to. Take it where it, it applies. Maybe you're looking for a new chapter in your life now. And then gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. So some of you feel like if you do entertain this person, that people are going to start thinking like, oh my God, why are you doing that? This person caused you such misery. You know, like why would you even go back to this person? Why would you even entertain them? And some of you are going to be so convinced like, oh my God, they changed. Like, come on, like. You shouldn't hold grudges. We shouldn't hold a grudge. But some of you, like, you should listen to your friends in this situation. Because, um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if the person hasn't done their work, their healing work, then it's not going to it's not gonna work out. If both people have not healed completely and you guys return to one another. I always say leave the past in the past. It's a past, it's a, it's a past for the reason. That's why I spirit's encouraging you to go forward with a new chapter in your life. Okay? Even if this person returns. But um, yeah, I don't really see any newer energy as yet, Cancer. So I'm sorry about that. I'm just pulling whatever the cards show me. So let's see. Um, let's talk about what's going on currently in love for some of you Cancers, because you might be interested. So Cancer's current love situation. For Cancer, what is going on in their current love, romantic love situation, Spirit, that they should know? Cancer's current love situation. What's going on? Cancer's in their current love, romantic love situation. What is going on for Cancer's in their current love situation? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. So there's a lack or feeling inadequate, feeling abandoned, feeling insecure. Tell me more about what's going on for Cancer's at this current time. Sometimes missing somebody. Okay, we have the... Justice card, Libra energy. So somebody feels abandoned. They feel like they um they, there needs to be justice in this situation. Um, somebody is in their head a lot. They're wrapped up in their thoughts about the past, and um, they're trying to make they're trying to figure out how to make things work, how to break free of this this um, Eight of Swords energy. They're trying to break free of it. They want to work together with this Three of Pentacles. So I'm thinking that this is this person that you're energetically connected to. Some of you are connected to a twin flame dynamic is what I'm strongly getting. So whenever the Justice card comes out too, that's also like an indication of possible twin flame situation. So tell me more about what's going on for Cancer's current love situation. Cancer's current love situation. Too many cards. Cancer's current love situation. What is going on? Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this is in the upright, the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you are trying to move on and, okay, you're trying to detach from this energy of feeling neglected with this Five of Pentacles energy. 
feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected. You want justice. You want to make peace for some of you guys. You want to make peace. You want to restore balance in your life. And some of you want to move forward with this Wheel of Fortune, okay? This is also a card of destiny, okay? So some of you are divinely connected to this person. Like I said, it's a twin flame with a Wheel of Fortune dynamic. Somebody wants to move forward to working together with this Three of Pentacles energy. But they don't know. There's some doubts about this in the future. If, there's gonna, if this is going to happen with the Pisces card, the moon. They're uncertain about working together. Let me see what this moon and the Three of Pentacles is about. Why is the moon and the three of pentacles about? What is this moon and three of pentacles for cancers in their love situation at this current time? What is this moon with the three of pentacles? What is this moon with the three of pentacles, spirit? Three of pentacles speaks of collaborating. The moon is usually like something hidden. Why is the moon and the three of pentacles here for cancers in their current love situation? Why is the moon and the three of pentacles here for Cancer's current love situation? Okay. We have the devil. You see? Toxic energy. The snake. So we have the four of pentacles, okay? Somebody's holding on to something. They're either holding on to a grudge or they're holding on to something very closely. Like they really want to work on something possibly, but they're not showing you at this time. Um, they're thinking about it heavily with this four of swords at energy, right? They're thinking of doing something, but they're inactive. They're not actually making a move at this time. They're thinking about it. They're keeping to themselves. This person might be very egotistical, very narcissistic, especially with this devil energy. Um, why they're just keeping to themselves at this time. I don't know, but I'm curious about the snake. So let's clarify the snake. What is the snake for cancers in the near future in love? What is the snake for cancers in the near future in love? What is the snake for cancers in the near future in love? Okay. Page of Wands. You see? Somebody's going to be very enticing with their words. They're going to say something. They're going to come off very sweet. They're going to give you some exciting, cheerful news with this Page of Wands energy. Okay? You're going to be like, oh, wow, really? Really? You're changed? And then we have the Ace of Swords here, right? They're going to try to convince you with their words. But Spirit's going to... Is telling you to use your higher level of intuition. You're, you're the high priestess, right? You need to use your intuition about the situation. Because this person is going to come at a page, as a page. And if you had a serious relationship with this person from the past, if they're coming as a page, that's already in the, it's a bad indicator that um, they're not really serious, okay? Because there's not any love energy that I see between you guys. It's just a lot of passion, a lot of fire energy. So what is this page wants to the Ace of Swords about? Trying to get you guys a little heads up. What is this page wants to the Ace of Swords about? Three of Cups. Yeah, they're going to give this cheerful news that, hey, let's go out. Let's have a good time with this Three of Cups energy. Let's get together. Let's collaborate. Let's go out. Let's have a good time. But Spirit is saying, use your intuition with the High Priestess. Use your intuition about the situation. Because if you don't use your intuition, there's going to be a lot of uncertainties moving forward. A lot of doubts, a lot of uncertainties. Even if you do accept this offer for stability from them in the near future, be please be careful. There's a trickster energy here. I feel it strongly for some of you guys. Um, they're going to pretend like they reflected on the situa situation, all that stuff. Uh, I'm afraid of what other people will think. You know, this gossip, I feel like this is more you. If you are considering, if you are the one who's in this Two of Pentacles state and you're thinking about like possibly um reaching out to them again or still being cool with them be careful because they might try to like start off as a friend vibe and then they're gonna slowly try to ease their way back into your life in a romantic way okay so i hope this helps for you guys um be cautious this new love energy for some of you it could be a good person but um i'm sensing that this person has some toxicities and you might have to bury them with a coffin okay Please let me know in the comments if this helps for some of you guys. Um, some of you might be meeting somebody that you might have a lot of lo love and passion for. So if you met this person, please also let me know. Comment down below if you would like to see more readings for you guys. I would love to do more cancer readings. So just please comment. Take the polls and stuff like that so you guys can get more readings, okay? Ah, have a blessed, beautiful day, guys. See you later.